everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're going to make some sweet roasted acorn squash and we're going to make it without oil. I have one whole squash here that I've cut in half and removed the seeds and the strings from. So now I'm going to slice it. All right, now I'm going to add all those to the bowl. Let's set this other aside. Now I have a bowl here with one tablespoon of water in it and I'm going to add a tablespoon or so of maple syrup to that and I'm going to get some cinnamon ready to go. So okay, so these are being mixed together, that little bit of water and maple syrup. And the reason I add the water to it is just so I can help to disperse this liquid amongst all these slices. And now I'm just going to sprinkle some ground cinnamon in there and I'm going to take my hands and just kind of toss this around until that maple syrup gets dispersed on these slices. Just do what I can to disperse that. No, that's not a lot of sweetener. You can add more to it if you want. Definitely. I try to have minimal amount of sugar in my life as far as added sugar. And that is a sugar. So we're going to minimize it, minimize it so that we don't have too much added sugar to this, but when it's roasted in the oven, it's going to help to concentrate that. That little bit of water is there just for the sake of helping to spread the love around here. All right, now I've got a baking sheet with some parchment paper on it and I'm just going to spread these slices around. My oven is preheating to 375. I'm sure it's already there. Just going to put these pieces on here and then we're going to roast them at 375 until they are caramelized and ready to go and fork tender. All right, that's all there is to it. Not hard. I'll keep you posted along the way. They have been in the oven for 20 minutes and they're beginning to cook, but they're not there yet. All right, they've done very well for the 20 minutes, but we're going to put them back in the oven and I'm going to go ahead and set it for another 20 minutes. These have roasted for a total of 40 minutes and they are fork tender but I want them to wrinkle up and roast just a little bit more just to help concentrate that nice sweetness that they have. So I'm going to pop them back in the oven for another 10 minutes just to finish this process. These have roasted for a total of 50 minutes and I am calling them done. The squash can be eaten with or without the peel. It's your choice, and to me, they're sweet enough to be called a dessert. You might like them a little sweeter than I do, and that's perfectly fine, your choice. You can put more cinnamon on there, or you could even dress them up with other types of spices, allspice, a little nutmeg, pumpkin pie seasoning, something like that, whatever you would like to do, but to me, they're plenty sweet like they are and really like a dessert to me. The recipe is below. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. I hope this helps. Bye for now.